Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Gris. I've down it again to about the, the minimum possible settings to make it even worthwhile to play and worthwhile to watch. I mean, obviously to play, it's normal graphics on my computer. But yeah, um, editing the first video, I noticed that there's still lag. So unfortunately, there's probably going to be lag for the rest of this video. So I down it, and hopefully that means less lag. Graceful landing, as always. And, uh, oh, but man. So this kind of reduces, this really reduces the games that we can play. This game and the Rizno game both had recommended, I think it's the RAM, they recommended four, four gigabytes RAM. Um... I have 8 gigabytes RAM on my computer. Oh, that was a one way. Nope, can't bust this pottery. Try going up first. And uh, so apparently, if a game requires 4 gigabytes, that's too much for my OBS to handle. So, um, the list of games that we can play with my current computer is very short. In fact, here are all of them. And uh, so if you if you can think of good story and or artistic games that are two gigabytes of RAM or less, then uh, please recommend them so that we can add more games to the stockpile of games to play. I do also have a capture card. So, I wonder if this is on. That looks like it might break. So I'm gonna go try going downward first. I do have a capture card, and I've tested it, and I can play PS4 or Switch games. I can record PS4 or Switch games, not in great quality, but I can do it. And uh, I get a lot better quality than games I play on my computer. I mean, a lot less frame drops. Is this back where I started? Because I recognize that door. Have I been here? Uh, yeah, so... I was thinking, I was wondering what I should do. Yeah, I've, I've been here before. This is the beginning. I was wondering what I should do for this channel, because it's like... And for this game specifically, because I already know there's going to be lag. So I was like, oh, should I even play it? Should I even upload the first video? Because, you know, anyone looking for a Let's Play of this game is going to play something else in or watch someone else instead. Someone who has high quality graphics on their video. Because that's what I would do. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't watch the videos that I'm putting on YouTube. Like, I would find someone else. Yeah, I think I went everywhere down there. Um, yeah, so what I decided is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing this game, because as I said at the beginning of One Shot, this channel, to me, is not about, can I break this? <laughs> it's cracked. Jump! This channel's not about views, subscribers, stuff like that. This is about me doing a hobby that is something that doesn't involve my friends. That looks like a one way, maybe? Try this way first. That I don't tell my friends or family about. Something that I can, I can do and uh, be satisfied in on my own without feeling like I need validation. Which by extension means I don't need views, subscribers, and stuff like that. So I've decided to keep going and playing this game even though there's lag and stuff. Okay, that... That's a two-way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see if I missed... I'm going to see if there's anything the other way. 
Oh, hey, look. Collectible. Yeah, I did notice when editing the first video that there was a collectible I missed and I could have got near the beginning. I thought about restarting and getting it, but I decided... Um, I decided to just keep going because I could miss other collectibles too. And with this game being tagged Metroidvania, I'm thinking that I might get the chance to go back and explore some other places. Okay. If I hadn't done that, if I hadn't come back here, I would have, uh, I would have always had that in the back of my mind as something I didn't check. But now that I've checked it, I can be satisfied that there's nothing there. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, I hope it's not too painful to watch if you watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not... Even though I'm not doing it for attention, I still want to do it because... I mean, I still want it to be decent quality. Because I I want everything that I do to be decent quality. Ah, disappearing platforms. Ah. Okay, so we're in this nice green place. Hope we can see it. And uh, we're gonna go down another one way. I know there was a power up, or a, I keep saying that, collectible back there, but I didn't get it. A little town? No, a person. Blockhead. And I don't mean that as derogatory. Anything over here? I don't think so. Can't go that way. And uh, if if the if I can't end up going back to the beginning, then I'll just play it again off camera, because that seems like something I would have fun doing. And if there's another ending, I'll show you what it is. Cause uh, I'm just I'm just playing and getting a lot of backlog. So I'm sure I'll have time to play it again before the ending goes up. Huh. Neat. Yeah, another reason I'm playing this game is be to practice talking. Um, I've always been in the background and and uh, spent a lot of time alone, so I throughout my life I didn't get a lot of practice talking, believe it or not. So one of the things I'm doing, so I've I've uh, ended up with difficulty speaking, and another thing is. Um, I have Asperger's syndrome, which also makes it hard to talk and stuff like that. Can I go this way or is this a wall? I can go this way. That's probably this is probably further on. There's probably a collectible up there. Yeah, so a thing that Let's Play does is it it helps me talk helps me practice talking got the collectible yay and even even with just these three games I've gotten so much better at talking I see it okay Uh, I probably could have got that collectible that I missed. You know, I, I, I won't worry about collectibles this playthrough.
I got you the fruit. The square apple. I'm trying to think of a fun name for it. But all I could think of was square apple, which was terrible. What's up? <laughs> you can follow me if you want. Hello, companion. Shy companion. I do see you, you know. You think you can hide? You're like the... the... Kikwis from Zelda Skyward Sword. Got your fruit. Oh. I didn't get you. Oh. I think I have to go up this way, I suppose. Can I, like, light this on fire or something? Not that I want to start a fire in the woods. Let's get you a fruit! Now I have to go back down again to get him another one. I don't know, just trying- I'm not trying to be trolly, I'm trying to interact. <laughs> oh, almost made it. This ambiance is really nice. All the birds in the background. Have a fruit! Are you going to turn into a power-up? <laughs> hey! You're not shy anymore! That's cute. I'll follow you into your home. I take it this is a wall? Yeah, given how linear this game has been so far, I'm thinking we're not going to get backtracking. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll just miss collectibles. Oh, I can jump up here. Let's go up here. It's the only way to go. Can I jump on you? Nope, you open up the way. Let's go! Yeah, this game is definitely linear. But I thought I thought there were doors back at the beginning with like symbols of the collectibles that I thought we need to collect enough to get through. But apparently... Or there's nothing apparent. I'm starting to think now that that's not the case. You can't get through? I can get you through. This, this is wonderful, like, so we started out, we were singing, and then we lost our voice, and all the colors faded away, and, and now, aha, you're up there. Are you gonna clear this for me? Haha, <laughs> do what I do. And now we have like a little fairy companion in the woods. And the, I always love fairy companions in the woods, unless their name starts with an N. And even then, I only dislike them because it's popular to dislike them. I see ya. You stand there, I'll stand here, and we'll break it together. Yay! That was fun! Where'd you go? There you are. What's up? Let's go! We'll go this way. 
Always gotta go back the back way before we go the forward way. Hey, you found a fruit. Yeah, so, so one thing that this can help me do, even if it ends up being terrible and nobody watches it, except you, because uh, you're obviously watching this if you're listening to me. Um, I, yeah, I can practice uh, speaking better, better commentary. Can I go down there? No. I can practice commentary for my later Let's Plays. You coming? No? Have we said our goodbyes? This game is beautiful, by the way. Uh, I wish you could see it. Hopefully it's not dropping frames right now. It's gorgeous. I think it was mostly in, um... I need two, two of those dots. It was mostly when there was wind and lots of fog and particles, but also sometimes when it zoomed out a lot. So, uh, I hope that you can see what's going on right now, because it is beautiful. Oops! That was a one way, wasn't it? Man, I didn't even get to explore that area. What's up, people? This one right here looks like a jingle bell. And this one looks like one of the one of the elevator buttons from Luigi's Mansion 3. This game reminds me of Machinarium. Oh, I can't jump up there. I mean this part does. What's up, people? I'll show you what I can do. I can get heavy. And this person definitely looks like some kind of a light bulb. Their their uh, hips look like the 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 part that gets put in the socket, and then right above that, it's the the screw part. Hey, it's you! Is this your family? Okay, so it looks like that wasn't a one-way, and we do get to explore that big area again. Thank you! I like you. I feel like you should have the Nico voice, but I also feel like you shouldn't say anything, so... And now we go down again. That's not dash. There's no dash button. Wish I had a dash button. One thing I've noticed that I need to work on is I speak too quietly. So I gotta project my voice. That's something I've been working on for a long time. Um, that's one thing, I, one reason I started my science YouTube channel. Um, other than because I love physics and space and sci-fi and stuff. Can I go down there? What's down there? Have I been down here? No, I haven't. Roots. Yeah, another reason I started that channel was to help my to help myself learn to speak. And that's why if you like look at my first videos, uh it's it's kind of kind of cringeworthy. Uh, even though it was only a few months ago, I can say that. And uh, I've improved so much in speaking since then, I feel. And if you look at my most recent video, the Faster Than Light video, and uh, if you're watching this later, which I don't know why you would be if you're watching this in the future, because other people have better versions of this Let's Play, so you should watch those instead. Also, I probably have letter better Let's Plays, so you should watch those instead. Um... Yeah, if you're watching this in the future, 
I probably have other videos out by now. In fact, I might even, by the time this video gets out, hey, they switch when I jump. Is there a wall over here? Looks like it. This is some, uh, some Mario stuff. So gorgeous and peaceful. Anything over here? Not that I can see. It's a big place. Where am I even going? Oh, I can't get there from here. So I'm going this way. I can go over to the right. Oh no, I fell. But a graceful landing. I'm gonna guess that this is laggy. So sad. It's so gorgeous. I see that. No, I almost fell again. Yeah, this section is, it's got red. It's got, can I even get there? My controller is vibrating. Hmm. Can I? Oh, I can get there from this way. I didn't see this last time. That was a mistake. No, it's not. Alright, let's get this. Hooray! Now let's go over to the left. Because I can do that. Because I can do... Wait. No, I can't. I can almost make it. Hmm. Ah. Here we go. Here, here. Can I? I don't. There's no. No, I can't make it that far. But can I make it from here? Oh, yes, I can. And I could just walk off because it's lower, and I didn't even notice. I thought I had to jump. Yeah, it's it's red and cloudy and there's effects and it's zoomed out and there's a lot of stuff changing. I'm sure you couldn't see any of that. So yeah, this is the last four megabyte game for four, four gigabyte game that we're gonna play um before getting an upgraded computer. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play some games I've already played before. I can glide now? I can double jump? Whoa, I can get over places I couldn't before now. I can't get back to the beginning. Uh, but I can definitely do some stuff. I should check out the, the lower places before I go up. Okay, looks like there isn't anything down there. Just gotta check, you know, you always gotta check.
Oh, hey. Sweet. Am I going back? Or is this forward? Yeah, I don't recognize this place. Can I break these pots? Yes, I can. And I remember on my next play, next playthrough, not to break the parts in that pots and that other stuff. I noticed you. You might be going forward in the story, so I'm not going to go for you yet. If there's anything that definitely looks like a one way, I'll come back and get that uh, whirlwind. Can I go up here? Man, the game is game is lagging for me while I play. There's no way you can see it while I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down. This looks like it's the way forward. There's absolutely no way you can see this in the video. I am so so sorry. Why are you even watching this? Music and the scenery are gorgeous. I'm so glad I decided to play this game. I wish I decided to play it after I got an upgrade. Whatever that's going to be. I can go to the left. No, I can't. <laughs> There's a wall. Something I'm trying to stop doing is laugh. Um, like, forced laugh. Like, eh. <laughs> because, because when I listen to it, I don't even like it. Just go up and let's go up again. Actually, oh no, I can't go that way. Yeah. Let's try breaking these. I can go down here. That might be forward, it might be a secret area. No, it's gotta be a secret area. Cross fingers. Yeah, secret area, and this is the way back up. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Hoping you can see it. <laughs> almost didn't, almost fell back down. This game is so peaceful. Can't go that way. I gotta practice speaking louder, speaking, uh, projecting my voice more. Cause that's one thing I noticed that I tend to, I tend to mumble sometimes. Especially when my voice goes lower at the end of a sentence. Uh, so we'll see how this projection sounds in the video, and if it's good, There we go. And if it's good, I'll do it more often. What do we got here? The way, the way on, down here, bust the pots, and then jump up and fly. That is definitely the way forward. If we go down here though, I doubt there's any secrets down there, and I don't think it can get up there. Um, yeah, since I'm not going for a 100% run, unless there is backtracking at the end, I guess I'll just not get that. Hey! I'm gonna go this way. I can't. 
Gotta go up the middle. See if there's any secrets here. I don't think I can go on the left. Nope. This is such a cool level design. <sighs> Sad statue. Here's a thing. Oh wow, this is zooming out far. You probably can't see anything. Probably lagging so bad. Um, well, I did, maybe not, I did down-res the video. And this time it's actually the same aspect ratio. Um, I, the settings with, uh, hello. The settings with OBS are, um, is there nothing over here? There's gotta be something over here, right? Oh. Was there flying things by the statue? Ah, yes there are. I'm gonna go back down to see if I missed anything. The settings in OBS are confusing and complicated and I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Especially since I don't understand them myself. I can't go back down. Oh. Uh-oh. Let's go up here. Okay, next area. Is this a place where I can fly anywhere from? These butterflies, I suppose they are, triangular butterflies. Oh, you're you. Oh, it's a boss. Or m m friendly? Hungry? Uh, hungry. Let's get out of here. Are you coming? Oh, yes you are. I have defense against blowing air. Oh, I can't go down there? I keep thinking I'm gonna go find secrets. I block you with my block. Huh, your wind is blocked by blocks. Just please don't kick me. Is this gonna break underneath me? Yes it is. We're gonna, is it just fall down? Yes, it is. Yeah, and, and uh, projecting my voice is something that can help me in general in life, not just in YouTube videos. Wait, what happens if I go to the left? There's a secret. How do I get secret? I think I missed a similar secret further back. No. Yeah, because I tend to talk really quietly in uh, normal life too. That is the right way, I'm gonna go this way. So learning to project my voice with, uh, oh. Oh, I think I know what to do. Learning to project my voice um, will help me when I'm talking to other people and when I am doing projects with other people. 
Glide. No, 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 no. Jump. I don't think I can make that. Maybe it's impossible. Or maybe I go through here. No. Maybe I need more abilities. I don't know. Maybe it is a Metroidvania. Or maybe I can fall down from above. Let's fly with the wind. Oh, we have to fly with the wind. It's another example of that which, um, that which you struggle against and which you, fl uh, which blows you around all this way and that way, which you learn to, to adapt to Seems like there's nothing over here. You learn to adapt to and you learn to use to help you succeed rather than seeing it as something that just hinders you and pushes you around. That's the way up. This is a wall. Most of this game is hand drawn. You can probably tell. But yeah, when looking up how to pronounce this, the name of this game, I found an interview from the developers, uh, and yeah, uh, they said they wanted to hand draw the whole thing. Okay, nope, you don't like, you don't like me coming up towards you. But they also said that it wasn't entirely hand drawn, so yeah, most of it is. I'm trying, trying to fly. Let's go. Uh oh, you gotta land. If I do this, can I go up to where you are? No. Well, here's to wasting time. All right, let's float. What? Okay, so I gotta gotta be gotta time this mechanic. Gotta figure out how this works and get it just right. There we go. Break. Fly. Can I do anything up here? Oh, hey, there's more stairs. All right, that looks like it's the way forward. Let's try, wait, can I not go down again? Oh, I can. Whew. Is there anything over here? I'm so small. Nope, nothing over there. This is big, but it's not moving, so hopefully OBS can capture it. Are we flying together? I don't know, it felt like maybe that was um, symbolic of 
us coming to coming to terms with the force of bird wind that pushes us around and coming to accept it. That's the thing with symbolism is it's always hard to tell what's intentional and what's just the player slash reader slash viewer um, adding their interpretations onto it. And then the question is, um, if it is their interpretation, how much of it was also the developer's subconscious interpretation that they're not aware of, and they, they did it because it was cool or because of another interpretation, or how much of it is just made up by the viewer on the spot. Can I jump off this way? No. And then there's the whole death of the author thing, which is that maybe the symbolism doesn't even, the, the intentions of the author doesn't even matter when interpreting it. And uh, my view is that a good story is interpreted A good story is one that can be interpreted by... Is it boss fight time? One that can be interpreted by um, the players, viewers, etc. in a m many numbers of ways. Okay, I think I can't go that way, but I rang the bells. Oh, I can stand here. Huh. Aw, oh, it didn't ring. Aw. Oh. Can I go over here now? Yes, I can, but you're going to appear on the other side. Yep. Let's get over to the edge this time, so we can make a full jump. Bye! Okay. No, I pressed it multiple times. All right. Yes, I did notice uh, more constellations appeared after the green was found. The staircase reminds me of Jotunheim, the end of God of War, which is uh, kind of weird because this game is nothing like that. But you know, similar aesthetic, similar visual. Maybe Sakeloose would be a better example. Am I gonna get another color? Oh, that's a visual. Maybe I'll use that for my thumbnail. <laughs> 